Hello, this is Marcus here from EV Journey. So we're going to do another experiment. So in one of my previous videos that I'll link below, I, after one year of owning the ID3, I thought it had quite high battery degradation. Now that battery degradation, as you can see in that video, was 7.5%. And I tried to fix this by balancing the batteries. Now, in some cars, it actually tells you that you need to balance the battery, such as the, such as the Kia e-Nero or the Hyundai Kona. But Volkswagen hasn't said anything about balancing the batteries. So in the previous video, what did I do to try to increase the battery capacity of my ID3 by balancing the batteries? I plugged it into 11 kilowatt charger and I charged to 100%. And that didn't make a difference whatsoever. Now, many good people in the comments below have actually told me to properly balance the batteries, you need to use slow charging speed, so below seven kilowatts. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So the car's currently at 80%. We're going to go into the car now, see exactly what the current battery capacity is and then we're going to charge it using the slow charger up to 100% to see if this actually balances the battery. Let's go. So what I did was I pulled the car out the garage this morning and it's been in the sun now. It's about 14 degrees now so hopefully the batteries are a little bit warmer um, because the car's been in the sun. So it's, a, so it's lunchtime now so we're going to drive the car into the garage and then we're going to start the charging. But first let's look at the current stats to see what the difference is um, from last month to this month uh, when it comes to battery degradation. So let's have a look shall we. So just to let you know, yesterday I charged the car to 80%, here it is 80% here. Um, and let's look at the distance, 21 and a half thousand kilometers in this car, quite good I guess. Using the dongle, we're going to see what the current energy capacity of the battery is. It should be 58 kilowatt hours um, if we have no degradation. So let's have a look now. So what is it now? As you can see, it's 53. 0.75 kilowatt hours so i've actually gained 150 watts in a month i don't know how i've done that but that seems a good thing to do now some people say they don't know how accurate this is here um but we're going to assume that it's accurate because i've got no other way to actually test the battery degradation but it, it does seem quite accurate because it does seem more or less the same as last time 150 watts difference so what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge using seven kilowatts up to 90%, otherwise it's going to take too long. So we charge up to, so we set this to 90% and we charge at seven kilowatts. And then what I'm going to do from 90% to 100%, I'm going to charge at two kilowatts. So that we definitely are doing the, the balancing of the batteries. So I'm very lucky and then in that, in that I've got um, an energy kick portable charger. Um, I don't think I've shown you this before, but um, What's very good with this is that we can actually select the um, kilowatt hours going into the battery by pressing this button button here. I've just got one phase, not triple phase. So the maximum I can charge to is 7.4 kilowatts and that's 32 amps. So we can go and plug that in. It will charge up to 90% at 7.4 kilowatts. Then we we'll come back and we're going to set it to 2.3 kilowatts here, which is the lowest we can put into the car. The moment of truth, I'm back in the car and it's dark now because it's taken ages to charge. So let's have a look, shall we? The light's gone off. 100% as you can see there. So we charged it seven kilowatts until 90%, then from 90% to 100%, we charged at two kilowatts. So hopefully the car now is full of energy. So let's go and check in the app then, shall we? So as I expected, We've not actually added any whatsoever. So now the maximum energy content of the battery is 53,700. So 53.7 kilowatt hours. I literally think we can say it's been the same. It hasn't happened. So balancing the batteries in the Volkswagen ID3, I don't actually know if the, ba if the batteries were balanced or not. I don't know. Um, because nobody tells us at Volkswagen what's happening. But anyway, there's no way once you get degradation in your batteries to reverse that degradation by doing balancing of the batteries. Now, now as I'm a very good EV owner and careful, I'm not going to leave the car with a with a charge status now of 100%. I'm going to drive the car now so it gets down to 80% so I can leave the car overnight with 80% of the battery because you should never store the car with a high battery uh, percentage 
in it such as over 80 percent so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to go for a short drive well, quite a long drive actually to get rid of 20 percent of the battery and um then um i'll come back home when it's 80 percent and uh, that will be good i'm going to check the battery degradation every month right in the little book i've got in here if there are any major changes i will let you know if there aren't any changes i'll also let you know Perhaps in six months, perhaps in a year, we'll see. But if there's any major degradation happens or anything, when I check every month, um, I'll definitely let you know. So thank you again for watching. I'm slightly disappointed we couldn't reverse the degradation, but 7.5% apparently is normal. If you look at this in reality, we're probably talking about a drop of range of 15 kilometers at motorway speed, so really not that much from when I first got the car. As long as it doesn't keep dropping, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, and thank you again for watching. Please remember to click subscribe below um, because I'm doing these interesting videos for you. And we're trying to get 1 million um, subscribers as always. Thank you again and bye.